Let's make something fun, a Swift UI card that reacts to your finger like it's catching light. We're faking that holographic shine you see on special cards. No complex stuff, just clean Swift UI and a smooth trick with masks. All right, before we start coding, I just wanna walk you through how this is gonna work. We're building one effect and we'll build it step by step, layer by layer. We're starting with a normal card. Just the image, no effects yet. Now we add a set of topographic lines. They look like map contours. We'll use this as the base texture for the shine. We overlay the lines directly on top of the image. No masking yet, just placing everything in position. We add color to the lines using a gradient. This will give the final effect a more vibrant, reflective look. Now we drop a white circle on top. Think of this as our light spot. We're not doing anything fancy with it yet, just showing it clearly. Now we use that same circle as a mask, but instead of just sitting on top, it controls where we can see the topographic lines. So now, the lines are only visible inside the circle. Just switching the topographic lines to black here to make the mask easier to see. Same structure, just clearer while we explain. The color's back, and now the reflection feels more real. The masked area looks like it's catching light. Last step, we add another circle, but with a heavy blur. That gives us a soft glow over everything, like a real light reflection. Everything we build, the image, the effects, the shine, all of it, goes inside this inner Z-Stack. We give it a fixed width and height, and we clip it with a rounded rectangle to make it feel like a real card. first layer inside the card is the image. It could be a Pokemon card or anything else you want. We make it resizable and fill the whole space. Next, we add the topographic line pattern. We set it to dot template mode so we can apply custom colors to it using foreground style. Now we give those lines a colorful gradient. This makes the shine look more dynamic when it moves. You can tweak the colors to match your style, we mask the gradient lines using a white circle. This is where the magic happens. Only the part of the lines inside the circle will be visible. This is the function that builds the reflection circle. We multiply horizontal and vertical by 10 to make the circle move faster than the drag it feels more responsive. We also adjust the opacity based on how far from the center it is. If the user isn't dragging, it's almost invisible. The more they drag, the more the light shows. Then we add another copy of the same circle, but with more blur. This one sits on top and gives the shine a soft glow. To make the card tilt as you move your finger, we use two rotation 3D effects, one for vertical movement, one for horizontal. It adds depth and makes the light feel more reactive. We're using drag gesture, minimum distance, zero. And the reason it's set to zero is simple. We want the effect to respond immediately when the user touches the card, even if they don't move their finger. If we left it at the default, the gesture would only start after a few pixels of movement. That would feel laggy. Now in dot unchanged, we read how far the finger has moved from the starting point, both vertically and horizontally. We divide the values by 10, just to slow the movement down and make it smoother. Then we clamp the values. Vertical goes from negative 20 to 20. Horizontal goes from negative 15 to 15. Why these numbers? Because we want to limit the rotation and the light reflection so it stays within the bounds of the card. If we didn't limit it, the reflection circle could slide off the card or the card could tilt too far and it would break the illusion. When the user lifts their finger, we smoothly reset everything back to center, both the rotation and the light. 